You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS with my guest, Mr. Paul Cook. Hello. If the Queen called you up and says, we want to knight you, what would you do? Knight me? Oh, God, if blimey. I'd say, oh, God, blimey. You're mad, you leave it out. Would you, would you <laughs> show up? Would you do it or would you, don't swear, or would you blow it off? Nah, probably not. You wouldn't do it? Yeah. Well, what, what would there be to, to get out of it? What? Well, people can say, suit sir. you, sir. <laughs> Is that it? I don't know. You could. I don't know. What do you get out of that? It probably sir? ups your uh, ante, your profile, your, uh, you know, I see, I mean, your no, brand. Yeah, but you know what? Ev they're giving them away ten a penny these days. Everyone's getting them. That's what I'm saying. So if the Queen called you up and said... <coughs> <laughs> She wouldn't give me one. I'll tell you who would have one, though. I know. Rottenberger. Sir John Rotten. That's, uh, that's got a nice ring to it. Sir Johnny Rottenberger. <laughs> Everyone's got them. What do you mean? You Cliff. can buy them? No. I mean, they give them to everyone now. Cliff. Cliff Rod, Richard, Rod, Rod Stewart just Even got one. Even Rod Stewart got one, you know. Every two-bit pop. So Van Morrison got one. <laughs> do you know Van Morrison got one? He's two-bit. He got one. Bleeding two bit. Not saying that he shouldn't. Two bit, Mick. Not, not saying that he shouldn't get one, but you know. Big guy, Mick. Lenny Henry got one. They don't know Lenny Henry. He's a comedian in London. He got he? one. Lenny Henry. They've, they've all got them. So. Did Shabby Tiger get one? Shabby Tiger. Who might have done? <laughs> Can't remember. I think Lieutenant Pigeon got one. He got one too. Some oldie old O. So what's the difference between? A <clears throat> Being knighted and an OBE. The Beatles got an OBE, right? Yeah, that's lower down the scale, OBE. That's the tuppence version of being knighted? No, it's an award for services to the country or whatever. It's OBE, MBE, CBE, it goes up. Do you know what they stand for, OBE? Um, Brown Noser or something. Is it Brown Noser? Mr. Brown Noser? Yeah, something like award. that. Award? Order of the British Empire, ah, I believe. Ah. OBE. Or MBE, member of the British Empire. Yeah, summoned. S yeah. So they go up in order and then you you get sirs. So he's got both then, Paul McCartney. He got an OBE and he got knighted, didn't he? Didn't yeah. He get, yeah, you can, you can get them all, yeah. He, he could even be, I don't know, he could be made a lord even one day. I think he, you can be made a lord as well. And if you got a sex change, you could get a, da a dame. Damed. Damed, yeah. Afterwards, so you can get the whole lot. I think they gave Elton John a dame, didn't they? Oh, really? Dame Elton John, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> and Sir David Furnish. Who's that? Furnisher. He's other half. Times Furniture? Yeah, he's other half. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, bit all oh, careful. What was that? Oh. Oh, I just got hurt me Is rib. That you? Oh, man. It's all that laughing. I see that you've done your ribs. I suppose you've told them all about your ribs on the show, right? Of course. Too much mirth and merriment. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. I, I did actually have a good laugh a couple of weeks ago, and it really made it was worse. It a right old belly full, was it? Yeah. Should we play some cars? Are you familiar with cars, Mr. Cook? Yes, yeah, I am. This is a track called Candy O. Do you know this track? No. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Jones's jukebox, Carlo S with my guest, Mr. Paul Cook. <laughs> you You're listening to Jones's jukebox mm -hmm. on Carlo S. That was Finn Lizzie. Cowboy song. Then them. Baby please don't go. Two Irish artists right there. Yep. Kinks. With Sir Ray Davis, Waterloo Sunset. I'm gonna start with Cars, Candy O, from the album Candy O. My guest, Mr. Paul Cook. Sir Paul Cook. Good afternoon. I think it has uh, got it, a ring. It's it got does a ring sound it. legit. Yeah, it's not bad. Good, nice English name. Sir Paul Cook. Could go with Sir Van Morrison. We can make it more regal. You ready? Sir Paul Thomas Cook. There you go. P.T. Cook. So your dad named your middle name Thomas after him? 
Yeah. Is that what is that the concept? Are you chewing gum? Yeah, I better take that. You better out. take that art. Mm. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And you're Philip. Yeah, God knows who that was named Steve. after. <laughs> Philip. Philip. Probably after Prince Charles, right? Yeah, maybe. Was he in power when I was born? No, he was around though, yeah. right? 55? Who? Prince Philip? Yeah. Of course he was, yeah. Was he a prince then? He was the, the king then, yeah. Or the prince regent, yeah, married to the queen. Philip. <laughs> was he? Yeah. Yeah, hey, Muppet. 53, she came on the throne, Queen Elizabeth. Still there today. Do you think it's important, all that nonsense back there? It is, back for the UK, yeah. It's a big thing, yeah. What does it do? Because you live there still, well, that's why I'm asking. The people love her and adore her still. The and Queen? It, the Queen, yeah, and it, it's a tie to history, and it's all about the, the country and tourism and pageantry and link with the past and all that sort of stuff and it's it's massive still it's that people are obsessed by the royal family back home the bloodline yeah and all around the world they're obsessed with them actually as well yeah not so much over here anymore i'm not sure we're a long way from the UK. i think they are no they still they still people are still interested in, in all that yeah all that stuff it's good for the country really i suppose i'm not a royalist or anything but you know it's um Compared to other countries, what we, the alternative would be having a president like um, President Blair or something. Yeah, like but they're not, they're, not, they're not connected back. You know, the presidents ain't connected bloodline. No, no, it doesn't work like that. No, you get voted, obviously, but with the bloodline, with the royal family, it goes back to whatever, centuries. Uh, way beyond Henry, right? Way, well. Who was the first king? King Stephen? Of William, Lindlade. William the Conqueror, you fool. He was the first one? Yeah. Well, no, there was... He was French, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> it goes back. There was an Anglo-Saxon kings of England way before that. Yeah, it goes way back. Then, then we got invaded by the Normans. I thought you was... Someone told me you was smart at school. Yeah, I'm telling you now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we got invaded by the Normans and the Vikings. Norman Wisdom? The Norman Wisdoms. <laughs> and the Visigoths. <laughs> So anyway. who was th who decided we're going to make a royal family? Like that, that was started somewhere, right? Yeah, tribalism. Yeah, the leader of the tribe, I guess. Yeah, that's where it all came from. Yeah, everyone's got to have a leader, right? Yeah, people like having a leader. They like having someone to follow. Yeah, it's just basic human instinct. I a guess. lot of people don't want to be leaders. A, a figurehead. They do. They just want to be told what to do. Yeah, need a figurehead, right? Yeah. Like you have to have a leader in a band, right? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> and look where that gets you. Well, it all depends. Yeah. You know, the only thing I regret is that we don't still, is that we can't get along in the sex business. That's, that's the only regret that I got. There was nothing wrong to me in breaking up when we did. But whenever we want to get back together, all being in our 60s now, why it can't be easy. You think you'd get over stuff, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, I've, I'm well over it. I'm okay, I'm okay with everyone. I mean, I'm I speak to everyone really. I speak to Glenn, you, and John a little bit. You do. You're the you're the yeah. I'm I'm the foundation. You're the middleman. You're yeah. the you're the uh, what you call it? Some people just can't get over it. Whatever and whatever walks of life. Yeah. And it's so funny. I don't even know what it, what what we're arguing about. Nothing. What the beef is. I don't even know there what the beef one. is. It's crazy, <laughs> right? But we're not the only yeah. band that does no, that, no. obviously. But it, it's the same thing. There, no one knows why we hate each other. We just do. It's just music and egos, mm. basically. People get very touchy about music and being told what to do and what not to do, right? Yeah. Um, it was good in the beginning, though, before we was had any success, right? Yeah, before you have time to think about anything. You're just doing Before things. there's any dough, before there's any fame... You kind of get along and just get on with it. Well, when everything comes naturally, you yeah. know, I mean, we made that album, never mind the bollocks, we didn't even think about it, did we? Just went in and done it, basically, you know. Yeah. It all it all came along organically, as yeah. you say, right? Are you filming any of this? Okay. No. You've done, done it now. I'm on record. You've done it now, so What have I done? Nothing. <laughs> We're going to visit the Duke. Go on, then. The Duke of Kent. 
He was a bloodline, right? Duke of Kent. He still, we still, there is still a Duke of Kent. Yeah? Yeah. He's cousin to the Queen or something, one of those. Who's next in line to be King or Queen? Charles. Prince Charles. With the heroes. With the, with the lugs. Yeah. And then William. I reckon he's a dragon. A dragon? I think he's a lizard, yeah. What do you mean? Charles. I think he's one of them. One of what? Lizard people. <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> I know. I think I think he's the FA Cup. He's definitely the FA Cup with him here, Rob. He must hear everything. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to have a drink with him one day and just go, cheers, big ears? <laughs> 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 We're here with Mr. Paul Cook, Sir Paul Cook, Sir Paul Thomas Cook, actually. <laughs> With King Stephen of Lynn Blade, and we're going to visit the Duke of Kent. Thank you. 